And ladies, when you talk dirty to us in bed, it's sort of we feel beautiful. <laughs> Silence has taken over the crowds. Because all the ladies in here know that they do not talk dirty. They give corrections. <laughs> I listen to what you say. Right there. Right there. It, it, is, it is in there. That, that's, where, that's, that's where I put it. That's where I put it. You know, right there. I don't control the tip of it. I just control the bottom of it. So I just put it in. It goes where there's room for it to go. That's how. I can't twist it or tickle it. It's not one of your toys, okay? It's just a regular penis, okay? It's like a baguette. I put it in the oven, let it bake. That's how it works, okay? Harder! I had scoliosis. I had a, so my torque, I have limited torque, okay? I have a limited torque. Mo I could do a power lunge. I could do that. I could, you would have to hold it open. If you held it open, I could power lunge into it you gotta hold it open because I'll have to dock it. We're gonna have to dock it, okay? Deeper, deeper. It don't go deeper. Uh, that's the end of the dick. There's no more dick after the end of the dick. Okay, that's it, all right? Once you reach the end of the dick, it's just body. That's where the body starts. I could tuck some stomach in there if you want. I don't know. I don't know what biology class you took where they told you to say deeper. We go, oh, deeper, let me crank out some more dick. <laughs> I always keep an extra foot of dick on me at all. Well, you thought this is a beer belly? It's a penis pouch, man. That's where I keep my dick at. I gotta store it somewhere, you know? All this fucking extra dick I got flopping around. I need a storage unit. That's rude to say, isn't it? We would never say that to you. Tighter! Best thing you can say to a guy in bed, ladies, say yes, and I'll tell you what the best thing you can say to a guy during sex is. This is the best thing you can say to a guy during sex. You guys are having sex, and you look at him, and you go, ouch. <laughs> there is nothing better than ouch. That holds your stomach when you say that shit, too. Oh, my lung, my lung. That's, I got, mm. I wasn't breathing like that before, but now, you must have moved something to me. Every guy knows exactly how big his dick is. You say, ouch, we will believe the lie you are telling us. Hold your neck, we don't give a fuck. We'll play along, we'll pull out like, hold on, baby, I don't want to give you an Adam's apple, you know how I do. I'll fuck around, turn Caitlin back to Bruce. Thank you. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm gonna need everybody here to lower their expectations. Uh, it's a Tuesday. We're gonna roll in today. How old are you guys? Let me ask you a question. How is Jeffrey Epstein's island? <laughs> How old are you? 18, you're aged out. Yeah, yeah. They look at you on that island like, what this old bitch doing over here? Get her ass out of here. You got your period? Fuck out of here, right? Can I tell you guys a story? Okay, last night, <laughs> I'm doing a show here, okay? And I was talking about the Epstein thing. And two people, a couple, just get up and they fucking leave. Just trying to come up with an Epstein joke, right? Because how do you justify what he's doing? It's fucking horrible, right? So I'm just 
talking about it last night on stage. I'm just bringing it up. I know it's bad, okay? But I'm just throwing ideas out there. Just throwing them out. Just jokes. You know, I'm like, the reason why he had the young girls on the island is because in case they tried to swim away, he would just play Baby Shark. <laughs> Daddy, just kidding. They don't have dads. Look, that, that's why they were on the island, guys. I'm just searching for jokes here. I know it's fucked up, sir. Okay? You look like you've been... You look like the contractor that built that island. <laughs> listen, if you want a good dungeon, what you gotta do, listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, you want a dungeon? I'll teach you how to make a dungeon. Listen, oak, you get a good oak. You go 20 feet under the ground, plaster it all up, okay? The girl screams can't get through the plaster. Just throw the idea, it doesn't matter. The couple gets up and they fucking run out. They run the fuck out and I stop. And instead of making fun of them or anything, I was like, listen, they did the exact right thing. They did the exact right thing. They felt uncomfortable. They felt, you know, wildly miserable and they were in an awful situation. And then they just got up and left, right? Now, the tricky thing about being on an island. <laughs> you won't be here for a while. <laughs> You show love through love. We don't do that. We show love through sacrifice. So a lot of times we'll be loving you and you don't even know. <laughs> For example, right? We're sitting on the couch at home, cuddled up, chilling, watching movies. You got your leg on top of my leg. I don't want your leg there. <laughs> at no point in time during this movie am I going, baby, you know what make this better. I had no feeling from the hip down. That would really prove my movie watching situation if I had like one leg with blood in it, right? And then one Lieutenant Dan. That would be perfect. Now I wanna ask you to take your leg off my leg, but you can't, I mean, you got a girl. You, there's no way, you don't ask that and then it goes well, right? No matter how nice you say it, oh baby, you know, your legs are made of clouds. Uh, just, let me get that out there. Uh, amazing. And not even the cumulonimbus ones, like the thin ones, like the little, you don't even know, is that a cloud? Like, what is it, right? It's like, I was just wondering if you could take your little cloud thigh and um, give me some sunshine. Uh, you can say that, but all she hears is, get your fat fucking dinosaur thigh off of me, you beast. <laughs> Holy shit, are you a centaur? Is that what you are? Because you look like a human, but your legs feel like a fucking horse. <laughs> Holy shit, Seabiscuit, what the fuck? Your legs should be hanging in a Spanish restaurant where they shave ham off of it. That's what your legs are. You're made out of jamón serrano, that's what you are. So instead we just sit there, let you crush our leg. You ever wonder why every old man is a cane? <laughs> Think that's a coincidence? Fuck no. Women play tennis until they're 95 years old. I've never even seen a woman with a cane. A guy hits 52, he's hobbling down the street like he just got in a motorcycle accident. 
Why? Because he loved his wife. And what does she do in return? Treat him like a futon for 20 years. Sacrifice. Love you. We do a lot of shit so you feel good you don't even realize. Did you know that? We're very selfless individuals. For real. Here's something we do, a lot of you probably didn't even know, but we do it because we love you, we want you to feel beautiful. It's during sex, during lovemaking, if you will. Because we want you to feel beautiful, is we make noise. We don't have to do that. We've been jerking off in our parents' house since we're 12 years old, like a ninja. When we're jerking off alone, we're not gonna, ah, 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 got me, slow down, Andrew, slow down. I jerk off like a serial killer. stop using anti-animal language. <laughs> Horrible things like killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> we gotta stop using that term because animals, they understand it and boy, are they furious when they hear it. I mean, there's a reason those birds shit on us and Definitely, they heard us saying, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Definitely the root. Definitely the root of the problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why are we worried about wasting stones? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If I killed two birds with a thousand stones, <laughs> I'd be so fucking impressed. Are you kidding me? Like, dude, it only took me a thousand stones. I killed two bald eagles. That's insane. You see that? They were just flying, done, on the ground. Stuff it, put it on a wall. I'm American. <laughs> Let me tell you uh, how little I care about animal rights. Uh, especially bird rights. This morning, I had a chicken omelet. Is it possible to dominate a species more than to eat the mother and child on the same fucking meal? I didn't even do breakfast, then lunch. Same meal, the whole family. Two generations of poultry wiped off the face of the universe. I killed two birds with zero stones. Brilliantly. Right? I mean, brilliant. 5,000 years, man, we were fighting lions and tigers and hunting buffalo. And women were like, uh, we'll just pick the berries. You, you guys got that. That's. You guys, all right. Woo! You guys are brave. Look at. Wow. So courageous. Look at you hunting that buffalo. Ah. <laughs> second they put air conditioning in office buildings, women are like, we want equality! March for it, girls! You played the long game, ladies. Well done, well done. Played the long game. But you still bleed once a month. <laughs> Joke's on you.